How to Overcome Your Sales Core Reluctance, Part 2. Uh, the key thing I want to share with you today is make a game of it. How can you make a game out of this task or activity that maybe you really don't want to do, you're really not feeling it, but you know you need to? And the idea is to make a game of it. Now, how, how can you make a game of it? For me, the way that I've done this in the past is I would set myself a goal. Like, I'm going to make 10 calls before 10 a.m. And then the game is, can I get that done in the time frame? Now, uh, when I was actually spending a lot of time earlier in my career cold calling when I didn't have uh, many other marketing techniques, I would have my list in front of me. And I knew that I was targeting to get through 100 calls in a day. So doing that five days a week, you know, so across a, a period of a month, I effectively was calling 2,000 people. Right? And then that would have filled up two workshops for 30 people. Right, That was the plan. So I had to, had to have a consistent way of doing this. Now, the best way I found to do this and play this game was if I was making uh, 100 calls a day, which I don't expect you to be making that many. But if you're making that many calls, you could easily set yourself a target to break it down. Hey, I'm going to do in the next 15 minutes, I'm going to call 15 people, right? I, I don't know if that's the right number, but but a number. And you can race yourself. Actually, have your list there. Cool. Now, the chances are people won't answer. You're going to get voicemails, whatever else. So some of these you can chew through very quickly. And just make a short sprint, a 15-minute sprint. I'm going to make this many calls in the next 15 minutes, and you chase it. And you rate yourself and can you get it done now by the end of the 15 minutes you tracked have you done it haven't you done it take a breather and then you go again now breaking your time up into these short chunks makes it a lot easier to get more done faster now the more calls you do the faster you go through them the more uh, connections you can make and, and naturally the the more people who need your service are going to drop out now there's uh some research that suggests that maybe three percent of the people that you're connecting with need your service at that point in time. Now, many of those may need it at a future point in time, but 3% need it right now. Now, in theory, if you call for 100 a day, you're gonna get three successes. Okay, so maybe not a massive amount, but what you find is as you're going through that and you're building more momentum, you're making a game of it and you're having fun because you're, you're hitting your, your goals or your numbers, more and more of these people are gonna drop out. You're gonna find that they start coming through quicker. About why? Because as you're playing that game, you're doing more calls, your learning rate, you're learning so much faster. You get so much more succinct with introducing yourself, building rapport, get into your message and getting a, a yes or a no either way. So uh, my message today then is make a game of it. Make it into some smaller chunks that you can race yourself and feel that continual progress, continual momentum. I will be back tomorrow. We have plenty more to share on this one, but have yourself a great day and I will catch you tomorrow. If I can hang up, I will catch you tomorrow. <laughs>